What is up, Togs? So we've been throwing Atlas 3.0 videos at you left and right, and this is going to be the last one because we don't have any more features to add to this helmet that we uh, initially purchased. Um, if you're looking for videos regarding the, uh, the installation of the face shield, there's a, there'll be a link in the description for that. If you're looking for the installation of the shockwave for the 3.0, there's an installation video for that. And if you're looking for the installation of the protectant pin lock insert for the 3.0 visor, there'll be a link in the description for that as well. But today, I don't know if you noticed, um, we've taken out all the cheek pads and we've taken out all of the ins innards of the helmet because today we're going to show you how to install the, uh, the vent plugs for the Atlas 3.0. Now, this is something that hopefully in future iterations of the Atlas helmet, the helmet will come standard with vent closures um, without having to take your cheek pads out and install these, uh, these plugs uh, into the helmet itself. But because uh, the helmet doesn't come with uh, closures on the outside of the helmet, to do that, uh, if you want to reduce wind noise inside the helmet and you don't, you're not looking for that extra ventilation, um, they come with these plugs. Now, I'm undecided whether or not I need to install these plugs in order to reduce the wind noise. So we'll, we, I will definitely let you guys know the verdict on whether or not I will actually use these and keep these inside the helmet. I think we're gonna be fine with wind noise, but again, if it's something that becomes a problem, um, we will keep these inserts inside the helmet. So um, I'll put price point for you here on the screen for you. Now, they've got two different kinds, or two different styles. You've got this, this shape plug here, and then you've got the plug that has the little Rurok logo on it that's this shape okay and what we're going to do is we're going to obviously um if like like a puzzle these inserts are going to go in here um so we're going to plug the rear plugs just see how easy this is to install and you can see it fits in there um i don't know if you can see that right there we'll put the other one in to the other side and these these go in really simply and the fit is the fit is good they fit really nicely to the shape of the inside of the helmet so um i guess a concern i would have is when you put the padding back in are you going to feel those on your head you know especially if you're somebody who doesn't have any hair um who who really feels what's on the inside of their helmet is that going to be an issue um that's going to be for you to determine um, but for, for me, it looks like because they follow the contours of the inside of the helmet, you're going to be good. Okay, so for this one, I'm just going to go with the fact that... Oh, no. Here you go. It's going with the shape of the helmet. So this one here goes on the left. And these ones seem to fit even more snug in there. Really plugging these vent holes up. This one. Um, the front plugs you've got to push in there a little harder than you, the rear ones did. But again, these front plugs are going to have the most air coming through, right? This is the, the vent that's going to be receiving the air as you're riding. Um, these ones here, I can't get to fit super flush against the inside of the helmet. You're going to have more helmet padding there to protect against you actually feeling those plugs. So there you go. That's going to plug uh, these vents here and then the pass-throughs to the rear. Sorry, not here, the pass-throughs here to these rear vents. Um, these mouth vents here, uh, this front mouth vent is the only vent you can close um, with, a, with a tab here um, on the inside. And what I do like about having that in, on the inside with that tab here for the, for the front closure is that it's, it, there's, it makes, gives it a real nice clean look. Um, obviously, you know, no one wants to have to reach inside their helmet to close a vent. But at the same time, I, I would personally, because I'm not really doing that on the fly, um, to be able to close that front mouth vent without having any, any mechanisms on the outside of the helmet, I like that better. So there you go. We've plugged up the air uh, pass-through um, on the top of the head. 
for, with the helmet plugs that you can buy out, uh, from, from Ruroc. Again, I'll have the price point for you for those plugs for you. Um, and, and we will have a review of the wind noise reduction, um, how it does, you know, we're here in the colder months here, it's winter uh, when I made this video, uh, almost winter. And so what we're gonna do is be able to test this out and see if when we plug those holes up, if we get really fogged up in, in, the, uh, in the helmet. I'm guessing we are gonna experience more fogging. So that's maybe something that you're gonna wanna do just to reduce wind noise for someone like me who does motovlogging and I want as little wind noise in my helmet as possible, um, I just wanted to get those plugs to see if we can reduce wind noise to better the quality, um, the audio quality inside the helmet. So again, we'll play with that. There'll be a review video, so I'll keep an eye out for that as well. If you have any questions regarding the vent plugs for the Ruroc Atlas 3.0, make sure you leave those in the comments. I'll do my best to answer them. And if you have any questions regarding the 3.0 at all, leave those questions there as well. Guys, if you found this video helpful, if you liked it, make sure you hit that thumbs up down there, which is the like button. And if you haven't already, smash that subscribe button. Guys, if you're out there riding, please be safe. Be kind to one another. My name is Eric. I'm that one guy. Thanks. Bye.